once you have the data ready, the next step you have to do is go through the requirement properly. Let's do it together. So I have the requirement in front of me. We have three points that we need to cover in our report. So the first point here is which month and year had the most profit. So here by looking at it, you can easily say that you need month and year here to achieve this requirement to achieve the first requirement you would need month and year so this month and year to so to get the slicing and dicing in power bi report you would need to create a date table a calendar table so now let's go to our report and create calendar table so for creating calendar table go to this data tab and here click on new table so uh, I'm giving the table name is calendar and there's a function calendar auto in power bi what this function does is it goes through the data set you already have in your power bi report so we have uh, sheet one as our primary data set so it goes through this sheet one and it looks for it looks for all the years that are there in uh, in this in this data set so we have 2013 and 2014 so what this calendar auto would do is it takes the first date of the year that's there in your primary data set as the first date and it takes the last date of the year that you have in the uh, data set so in our data set we have 2013 and 2014's data so calendar auto will take first Jan 1st 2013 as first date and December 31st 2014 as last date. So it gives you all the dates between these two dates. So that is what calendar auto function does. So now after creating the calendar table we have to give the relationship. We have to create the relationships between these two data sets. And here in sheet 1 which is our primary data set we have date. And in calendar we have date so let's give a relation between these two columns and we have created this relationships it has one to many relationship because calendar table it has one day just once but in sheet one which is our data set it can have multiple dates that's that's what this one to many relationship says now you know how to create this calendar table and you can also establish a relationship between the calendar table or the date table you created with the main data set.